Okay, so I just E, why E is older than J, and I want to address some differences between E and P. Now, E has the uh, story of Moses and the bronze serpent. Moses crafting a bronze serpent and holding it high. Uh, the P writer was uh, for Hezekiah, uh, and they were trying to break uh, the Mushite hold on the, on the uh, priesthood. Uh, they did not like the priests of Moses. They saw them as illegitimate, uh, and they saw any other priesthood besides a specific line of Aaron, and that co coincidentally, or no, rather because they held the temple, and they didn't want anybody else in any areas, because there's nothing in the there's nothing in the Torah that says anything about uh, Mount Zion. If anything, it's Gerizim. The Samaritans, I think, the modern-day Samaritans are absolutely right, and I hope to God they don't die off. If there's only about between three and six hundred of them left. Uh, I don't believe they're bastardized blood at all. I think they st they stayed in the land, because remember the Jews came back and found them there? And the Jews were the ones that were hauled off to Babylon. So the Israelites that kept their identity, which stayed in the land, were not of mixed blood. But you couldn't say the same thing about the Jews, so what did they do? They They through the accusation at the northern tribes and saying, oh, well, you're of mixed blood. Well, probably went both ways, but it gets captured because of certain things we suppose Jesus said. We don't know. Uh, we just take the side of Judah, which, no. Uh, under Hezekiah, he smashed the bronze serpent and the excuses because they were worshiping like an idol. Uh, I don't know how you do that with something that Moses himself crafted. But uh, they're totally against the bronze serpent. Uh, P tries to trash Moses at every bend and turn. Uh, the thing that usually gets emanated from him as horns in the uh, in Renaissance art and maybe rays of light or whatever it was, well, it actually is a disfigurement. Uh, it, and that's put in there by P. So he had to wear something over his face. Uh, he does not believe in a uh, merciful God like E does. E, God is can come to you. God can uh, speak to you. He doesn't need uh, intermediates. He can be direct right here. Uh, he can use his angels. He can use dreams, anything. Uh, and he can forgive. He can forget. He can uh, he can be he can be moved by your acts of goodness and stop his anger. Uh, whereas in P, no, he's only a God of justice, and there is no mercy. There is no mercy. Uh, you can't beg to God for mercy. You need to do the right rituals, and that's what keeps it going. Uh, you can almost think of how the Aztecs priesthood had a hold on them with the, you know, you have to kill all these people to, for the blood, blood to flow down for the sun to rise. No, we're doing this as a mechanism. This is keeping the world with, you know, it's not, if we didn't do this, the world would fall apart. Uh, and I'm not saying uh, the the priests of the South were sacrificing anybody. I'm just saying they use this heavy tone of we need to do this or else the earth is going to fall apart kind of argument. I think it's very easy to see. And then bashing uh, the line of Moses. Uh, in the Tanakh, it gives, it says, it didn't, doesn't, it says David didn't slay uh, the priests at Nob or whatever. And only one of them survived, and this and that. Uh, his great 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 grandchild is Jeremiah, basically, uh, who coincidentally wrote D to refute P. So, what I think, I think since David was all about the southern kingdom, David and Solomon, one of them, slew the priests at Nob, got rid of the Mushites. That's exactly what the southern priesthood wanted. Uh, and they didn't like this dual temple up north, which they actually discovered. I mean, the one Jewish temple that's built to the, uh, basically the, what should I say, the dimensions of the temple are up in, uh, up in northern Israel, in Tel Dan. Uh, so I was calling them apostates and this and that. And, oh, Israel was saved. And you could see the D writer really rejoicing in that, but you can see that it got cut short because he builds up Josiah as this great king who will last forever, and, and then boom! Nebuchadnezzar comes in and puts an end to that. He's very short reign, you know, he dies in battle, and oh, 
and then you have these crappy kings, and then the Babylonians come in. So you can see this was written at a high. There is D was written to make Josiah the great king. P was written to make Hezekiah the great king. Uh, kind of dueling. It went E J first, then P, then D, and you can see kind of the feud playing out. That's why I hold the E being the most correct version and. Uh, J and P definitely grew up in the south, and E and D were most likely from the north or the northern line of thinking. Uh, but D was still uh, concerned with chastisement and how everything was. He was probably the redactor, uh, the one that put the histories together. It was believed that the redactor was Ezra for a long time, but uh, now they're starting to think it was probably Jeremiah because he's the only one that had the position, the authority to do all that. Uh, before, who, after the captivity, it would have been Ezra because he's the one that had the authority, the right, the boom, 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 to do all this. Uh, before, it would have been Jeremiah. And if you're, you're looking at how D builds up, uh, builds up uh, Josiah, then uh, it's very easy to see that as Jeremiah if you... Hezekiah, I mean, I mean, just from the way everything is, I could just say, you know, well, Isaiah is obviously the writer of P, but I'm not going to say it because he had a high position, he was able to do so. Maybe one of the writers of Isaiah was, but uh, there's too much compassion and mercy in Isaiah for it to be uh, anything of, uh, I mean, he, he basically says, you know, your sacrifices are stench, your incense is garbage to me, you know rebuking this this idea that you know you just have to do these rituals uh, and follow the law you you know you need to go beyond that you need to have basically the spirit of the law in you and not just practice the letter of the law which is what P was all about it's just practicing the rituals uh, are sacrifices and incense bad no not at all they're actually good but uh, if you're only doing them to appease a god, if they love a goddess, and you're like, why? What is it for you? Uh, I'm afraid of the sky god that's going to straighten you. It's ridiculous. But uh, I think P was written as propaganda, and so is a lot of this stuff. Now, looking at it now, I think we should have all of the Torah. I am not willing to cut out any. I mean, reading it just as it is is fine. Uh, and good, and there's a lot of good things. I like P's creation story a lot better. Uh, I think P was more intelligent on some things, was dead on. And uh, it's most of the time that uh, E and J, God, is ready to be merciful. And, uh, most of the time that P is only justice. But there are chinks in the armor in each of them. I mean, there is a little to give and take, so we can't say 100% this way or 100% that way. That's how they were. No, they. He had what some might call mercy in there, or, well, not God relenting, but people calling upon him. Uh, it can be viewed as that way. I'm not saying that it's really in there, but it can be viewed. And EJ certainly has uh, a very a God that's very powerful and might ask you to do something that you don't want to do, or maybe it's not, in your eyes, moral or good. Uh, <clears throat> so I just wanted to explain that about Pete. And its relationship to E. Uh, peace to you. Uh, everybody take it easy out there in the uh, cold winter. This is Yusuf. I guess this doesn't apply to anybody in Australia or California, though. You don't know it. You don't know our pain, our sufferings. <laughs> One of these days. One of these days. I'm going to get out of Chicago. What the hell? I don't have any family anywhere else. What the hell am I going to do? Go to Buenos Aires? Which... I am thinking about doing. I think I might move on. Uh, peace to you.